Number six in the Asia collection from 88 Films is The Mighty Peking Man. Sometimes you're just not too sure what to expect with these movies. Mostly the, the Asia range so far that I've seen have been horror or kind of chop socky action kind of movies. I just didn't realise I was going to get a straight up rip off of King Kong in this movie. And what was even more surprising was the fact that I enjoyed it as much as I did. Now you get um, some characters who understand that there is this giant ape in India. They decide to uh, travel and capture it. When they get there, they discover uh, Samantha or Evelyn Craft's character who has uh, crashed there in a plane when she was young and has seemingly been raised by this giant ape. And of course, living in the jungle for a period of time has changed her into someone who wears skimpy clothes, always has her hair done, seems to always have the perfect makeup, um, but you know, lives in the wild. It's one of those kind of suspension of disbelief. We get the giant ape in the form of a man in a suit, and it's wonderful. And we get lots of of fantastic miniature sets being destroyed by said man in suit. We get Evelyn Craft looking wonderful all the time throughout the movie. We get uh, some good action and some fun moments. But primarily, it's a rip off of King Kong and it doesn't really try to hide that fact either. The trip to India is much like the trip to Skull Island. They capture Kong they don't call them that. They put him on a boat, eh, take him all the way back to China where they're going to put him in a show. Unfortunately, they're a bit too antagonistic with this giant behemoth and it escapes to run rampant on the city, ultimately climbing to the top of a building. It, you can see the parallels all the way through it. It's not really hidden and I don't think it's supposed to be either. But for it being a straight rip-off of King Kong, it has a lot of fun behind it. I liked most of the characters. I loved the wacky situation. Um, I, I, I even liked the, the man in a suit destroying miniatures. The kind of craft that went into that was wonderful. The way they connected the movie together by having um, the ape and people running from it but superimposed on each other was terrific. I liked how they, they, they matched up the footage from say a car r driving away from Kong and Kong destroying the road or the motorways behind him it was really well done and it gave a, a wonderfully exciting film. You even get a bad guy promoter in this one to rally against that you just don't like and it's a movie that's lost a lot of the subtext of Kong, lost a lot of the, the kind of subtlety as well and just goes for the mainstay points and throwing in extra moments of man in suit destroying stuff, which isn't a bad thing really. I mean this has even got a scene in it where <laughs> Johnny and Samantha are two characters, the, the guys and, and, and gal at the start, as they seemingly are spinning slow motion style with a leopard and it's just wonderful to watch and it is a sumptuous uh, transfer and this one shows the detail of all this nonsense in front of you and it's incredibly silly yet incredibly fun and that's the main thing I can take away from the mighty Peking man. I enjoyed the performances, I enjoyed the relationship between our uh, two heroes, I liked the man in the suit, I thought it was kind of fun and enjoyable and campy a little bit. But yeah, I mean what more do you want really? Entertaining, fun and a complete unabashed rip off of King Kong. I would love to know if you've seen The Mighty P. King Man. And especially from this era of Shaw Brothers movies, was there anything else that was just a straight rip off of another movie? Let me know if you know the answer in the comment box below and I'll see you next time on Man V Film.